All right, so you just got a new pedal and you're ready to pair it with the RJM series to get it working via MIDI. It's a really simple process. Once you've added the device, you're gonna go in to the buttons page and you'll wanna pull up the manual that actually talks about like this, the commands because newer pedals don't always have the commands uploaded. RJM does do that, um, but they don't, you know, they are a small crew that doesn't have a ton of time to do little uh, adjustments like this uh, while they're developing. So it works out that you can just revert back to the manual. So I'm gonna put Asabi, this, put this distortion. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna go down here, make sure it's on CC toggle. There's a ton of different commands. You wanna be on CC toggle, Asabi, whichever device you did. And you know that button one is CC one, button two is CC two, and then gain, so, uh, um, the gain like clipping modes is three and then the gain cycling is four and then overdrive presets for this side are five so you just want to turn it on and off so you want to select number one what you can do is you can actually right click this switch and copy and paste it if you if you decide to it makes work way a lot quicker we're going to go and do this next side and do the drive drive side so i just relabel that drive go down here make that two okay so now you have the sabi distortion and the drive side next what we're going to do is i'm just going to right click and paste it again um, just because it, it just makes it easy uh, like i said it makes it a lot quicker when you're trying to do a lot of stuff at once so now you want to actually go in and change the different types of distortion they're using. So that's gonna be uh, CC3, which you type three, um, you're gonna want to erase this value and put one. You're gonna wanna go up here, hit new action, go to Asabi. So you're gonna have to remember, you're gonna have to click three again, but then this is gonna be two. Same, it's the same thing over and over. You wanna make sure you have three on there, and then you're gonna do three, Asabi, three, four. So you're not done there because you still got to add those actual steps into it. So there's three, one, two, three. So you're going to add the go one, two, three. Click action type, click system, click subtype, click step. So you're going to have to do that two more times in order to make all these steps. Then once you make them all steps, click one, Drag it all the way over so they're in between. But then you're not done yet. We're almost there, super close. All you have to do is make sure you send on preset change, update on state on preset changes on, as well as IA cycles. So as you can see, you have four different types of stages you can do. So I would type in, oh, actually I can go over here. I'll just cop I'll just copy the name of the of whatever we're using into here. It just like I said, whatever makes your workload quicker is always better as long as it is correct. So we'll do high gain. So we'll actually type in A for asymmetrical. And then we'll do S for symmetrical. So you can also change the color. So like the 808, I always do green because that's pretty, pretty typical. Um, when you're actually scrolling through to different modes, like if you hold this down, so you know this is the TOS 808 because it's green. Then you got blue mode, so you can make that blue. And that's pro that's like a purple ish so you can make that purple and then the first one is orange so I uh, there's no orange so I use red it just makes the most sense so all you do is make sure those IA cycles select you typed in those names and everything as you can see it's there and what we'll do is we'll actually do the same thing you repeat the same steps to do the drive side but what we'll do is I'll go up here right changes to device let that load for a second and then once it loads you'll actually be able to go through your device turn it on and off do the different types of drive modes turn on the the drive side the distortion side 
All right, so it's uploaded. You're ready to test it out to make sure everything works. So remember that this did uh, the bloom settings actually. So we can go through and you can see it's scrolling through all six of the compression modes that you have and you can per preset that. Um, the CC cycle mode only does four. Uh, if you could do more, I would suggest you could do more, but you can't. Um, but we'll move over to the Sabi. So you can turn it on, it matches purple. Turn on the drive side. We haven't paired that side yet, but it's easy as you have blue mo uh, purple mode, orange mode, which is the governor style. You have the 808 side, the asymmetrical, and the symmetrical high gain. So it's really simple to really mess with how you want everything to set be set up and work with. And the great thing about that is that you could turn on that side and preset one, it could be that patch. But then you go to preset two and you want this to be the 808 side, okay? So you can toggle between the governor style, the TS 808, and you can even program a switch like next to here that does your gains, your actual gain cycle, like stage, like how much percentage gain there is, which is um, what we'll talk about next. All right, so we just completed setting up the Asabi distortion drive modes switch switches so what we'll do is i it, like i said it makes it easier i right click copy and paste double click so now we'll change this to gain as you can see on the gain it's cc4 so we'll want to change all these to four so we'll change all those to four um, it's the same concept as the values, so the values, values actually don't change. The only thing that will change are your steps. So we could do, type in 25%, type in 50%, type in 75%, and type in 100%. So the 100% I typically do is red. Just because like you can do any color because there's not really because there's only a, a brightness of the LED color that you're on. But me, I do green as like on the lower end. Yellow, you're kind of getting a little bit, no, a little bit, little bit more. I guess really I do blue because it's getting a, a little bit fatter. Yellow I'll do as like 75% because it's, bright, it's brighter. And then 100% is like high gain, red, just seems like it makes the most sense. So now you have that Asabi's gain in, you do the same steps as you go up and you right change the device. Once it's changed, you can now see that there is an extra foot switch and you can actually see that you have your four modes. So you have 25%, 50%, 75%, and 100%. Well, that's it. I mean, besides going doing the same steps to actually do the drive side, everything that we did right here is exactly the same as you would do to do the Asabi drive side. It's as simple as you could even, like I said, right click, paste, and change the Asabi um, from three down to two. And that's it. I mean, all you're doing, actually, no, it's actually not even two. You're changing it to five. So if you're going to change your drive side as well, you can do the same concept as right click, copy paste, you want to double click <clears throat> and looking at the, um, the actual manual CC five does your overdrive side. So all you're going to do is simply go through and change this to five. And then you'll want to go in to your cycle steps, which is a Marshall tube screamer, Timmy and Klon. So we'll do Marshall. All right. So it's just uploaded. <clears throat> We're going to click on the drive side. As you can see, it's matching the orange. Click again. Hits green, blue, purple. Like I said, you can do that per preset. You can change up the different styles, and we'll talk about how to utilize these pedals with the Musicom series, the Boss series. Um, it's really simple. I mean, the other switchers, there's a little bit more leg room because they don't have editors like the RJM stuff. That's why I love the RJM stuff. But this is just really simple ways to utilize these pedals to their full potential. Have a good one.